right, so hey, what's up everybody? This is my good bro, Greg Moutonides, the good old Moutster. And uh, on YouTube, he's Lyman2323. 23. We just made that venison stew. And now, what, what's going on today? Well, I want to shoot a hog really bad. <laughs> he's been down for like the past two years. This is his third year. He's always wanted a hog hunt. And uh, just due to timing, we haven't made it happen. Well, a good friend of mine, Gene Cooper, invited us to come out to the ranch. And I mean, this ranch has been in his family for years and years and years. And they really take good care of it. It's a cattle ranch. But they have a huge problem, just like we do here on the box ranch, with coyotes. Now, here on this ranch, we have very few hogs because we keep them very thinned out. But out there, they've got a lot of hogs and they've asked us to come out. So he's gonna be shooting his bow. Where we're gonna be hunting is really, really thick, a lot of palmettos, underbrush, and it's it's not gonna be your typical stand-up shot. So, if you guys are going on a hunt, A number one, you wanna be ethical, you wanna be moral, and the only way you can do that is by being in tune with your bow and in tune with whatever situation that is. For me, like, I'm used to hunting in warm weather, very little clothing, so whenever I go up north and I've got big head covers and heavy clothing, Man, I practice a lot dressed just like I will be first thing in the morning or late in the afternoon when I'm all bundled up. Because the last thing you want to do is go on a hunt and either miss or even worse, wound an animal. So let's get started. Start off shooting sitting down because I can almost guarantee you your shot will not be standing up. Great shot. Using the Matthews Creed with the Easton Axis 400, the Blazer Veins, shooting a Spot Hog Tommy Hog Sight with a uh, Scott Mongoose Release. So far, it's it's been uh, it's been really comfortable. A little high. You're consistently shooting just a couple inches high. And you know what? I don't know if it makes a difference, but I'm not used to shooting with glasses on. That's it. That might be it. There huh. we go. Look at that. Look at the difference. <laughs> you shoot the way you practice. That's the truth. If you're going to hunt, you owe it to the animal to be confident. I mean, the death is the bad part of hunting. I, I love the pursuit, and I love to be able to eat the wild game, but actually killing an animal is, the death of the animal is the bad part. So I feel that we as hunters owe it to the animal to make the best shot possible. Well, animals in the supermarket don't commit suicide. I just, I love wild game, and that's, yeah, I grew up on it. When you're hunting, Nothing below your shoulders should matter. It's all with your head and your arms, all right? Okay. So remember your anchor point and just imagine there's branches and brush and all kinds of other stuff in the way. Your legs should not matter. Okay, now, because, because a wild hog does not have a target on it, imagine in that top left corner Top left corner, you see there's a little, just a little, I mean, if you miss, you're gonna lose your arrow. Got you, a little black. There's a little black cut. Cut, yeah. yeah. Shoot that. Aim small, miss small. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. That was great. Well, that's what it's all about. I mean, we're gonna go out and hunt good chance you're going to see some hogs because there are quite a few there. We've got some corn out. The corn, we corn year round to keep the deer healthy. Uh, that property has got a lot of water on it right now and so there's not that many acorns. So Gene and his family, they keep the feeders running. Well, the hogs come in and just devour the corn. So if they come in this afternoon, whap, they're going to get a uh, slick trick to the, uh, to the old boiler room. You're going to try to make a good, clean, ethical kill but a lot of variables in between here and there. Are we going to have some pork chops for dinner if we do? <laughs> maybe, okay. maybe. All right, you guys. Time to go hunt.
This is called a baby. It's a little juvenile cottonmouth water moccasin. Would it kill you if it bit you? Uh, they're not. They're not lethal. But anytime you're working with a, a poisonous reptile like this, you you can't make eye contact with the camera because you got to pay attention to him. And so many people consider cottonmouths like crazy aggressive, and I I don't find them to be crazy aggressive at all. And I I come here, buddy. Come here. We just found him on the road here. Come here. See how he's trying to get away from me? Come here. See, he's making no, come here. He's making no attempt to try to, to try to strike at me. See that? Now, he's not tired, so I gotta be really careful with him, because he will bite you. And if he bites you, you will go to the hospital. See that? You can come here closer. He's not gonna hurt you. I'm not worried about come him. Come here, come closer. Look at that. Now a lot of time people will people will uh they will they will think that baby moccasins are are uh copperheads. I'm using the uh, I'm using the stick for him to hold on to. Come here, buddy. Come here. And as these snakes get a little, little more tired, they actually really use the stick to hang on to. Now, cotton mouths have a very, very, very toxic venom. Although it's not really a lethal, lethal venom. But when we saw this little cotton mouth in the road, we figured, hey, let's stop and take a look at him. Look at that. Get it right there. I won't let him bite you. What's up you guys? So we're driving right now on Mr. Gene Cooper's property. We're gonna chase after some hogs tonight. And Crystal brought her bow with her tonight mm -hmm. in hopes to shoot her first hog with her bow. Yep. So I, I brought my gun because I really need to start shooting my bow more to be honest with you guys. Um, so I brought my gun just to be on the safe side. But we wanted to bring home the bacon, literally. <laughs> so we'll keep it posted and hopefully we do well. The boys are in front of us right now and Rob just um, got out and told and talked to us about a baby what was Moc it? moccasin. Moccasin? Moccasin snake. Um, so I don't even know where we're going, but it's gonna be a good night, I have a good feeling. Stick some hog! <laughs> If you're hunting anywhere in the south this time of year, that right there, those are mandatory. They're called thermocells. Otherwise, the Florida State bird, also known as a mosquito, will eat you.
back, dude. You shot a big bar. That's a big bar. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at the teeth. Holy crap. That's a, that, but he's a dead hog. <laughs> That's a big bar. That's the best <laughs> eating hog you could possibly have, possibly, possibly killed. Hey. Dude. Drag him out here. Drag him out here into the, grab him by the hind legs and drag him out here. Oh yeah. Nice bar. I don't, dude, I, I don't know what to say. Like, that's, that's the awesome. first, my first archery. Now I want you guys to know, this is the dude who actually got me into YouTube. We're out here, Gene Cooper, man. Thank you so much, dude. Letting us come yeah. out here and hunt is awesome. Hopefully the girls got one. And um, I just, dude, honestly, I can't wait to have, we're making pork and beans tomorrow night. We're pork having, and beans, <laughs> Frank dude, and beans. <laughs> Wild game, living off the land, dude. Is it is. Being it's with awesome. good friends is what it's all about. And this hog has been cut. So at some point he was trapped or caught, castrated and released. So he's referred to as a bar hog or a barrow hog. Talking about fine, fine eating. Sorry it was so dark, you guys, but hey, man, we're out here having a blast. Robert. And uh, thanks, brother. Dude, thank you. And uh, thank all you guys for watching. The video's not over, but please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave us a comment, and let us know what's going on. Miss Annie over there in South Africa, don't be giving us too hard of a time about killing this hog because this is unbelievable. Great eating food, managing the land, stewards of the land, and uh, that's dude, awesome, dude. No other feeling in the world. Yep. You got mud all up on your face. <laughs> Sarah made me. <laughs> we had to do it. <laughs> we saw some turkeys. Oh, you did? Yep. We, awesome. saw, we got them on camera. Um, saw some turkeys. Didn't see any hogs. Heard some hogs. Any big oh, gobblers? you did hear some? Yeah, we heard a couple, huh? Any big gobblers? No. Not big gobblers. Moots, what all, what all, I mean, what What was your hunt like? Here, open that back up so our You shot come something. On. I know, you I shot feel something. like you did. You shot something. <laughs> I okay. asked him, did you get anything? And he's like, I can see the sweat on his face. You he was asking okay, Mootsie, so you asked. let him in on it. So I, I stuck up about a 190 pound bar hog. Shut you up. You did not. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. We were That's giggling the whole time. <laughs> All right, well let's load him up, y'all. What do you think, honey bye? Rock out, baby. Look at that big moon behind <laughs> you. Look at all these mosquitoes. Wow. Yep. That's what it's all about, you guys. Yes. Ooh. All right, what's up you guys? You just got done watching the epic hog hunt. All that practicing paid off for Moots and he got his hog. First bow kill ever, so kudos to you, Lyman2323, Moots and EDs. Um, while you guys are on the channel, check out a few of our other shows. Uh, this is our life, no makeup, no make believe, just real life, having a good time. And uh, we actually have cleaned that hog and he's back there in my angle cooler, right there. So he's back there in that angle cooler, cooling down, 
Uh, we've got them on ice, let them sit there for a couple days, then we're gonna show you guys a couple of really good wild pig dinners. Not sure what we're gonna cook yet, but I imagine it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, anyway, hang out, like the video, subscribe, do whatever, and uh, we will see you soon. Thanks a ton for watching. You guys mean the world to us. We're out.